Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today I am going to start tutorials on RAM structural system. <coughs> step by step, I will prepare the tutorials and I will upload to my channel. So stay tuned with my channel. Today I will provide tutorials on making up to grids. So first. we will create a project create a new project save it to a destination folder so start ram structural system okay then it will come we don't want this close don't worry about this okay then go to new here i will make a folder tutorial then I will create RCC building design unit I will keep English save ok now what we will do now check the criteria member load self weight and choose options as you need so we will go to criteria member loads code for live load reduction we will use default ibc general and snow versus roof live load here by default it is consider roof live loads ignore snow load I will, we will click, keep that one if you want, want to consider snow load then you have to select this one and others uh, we will skip as it is def by default as per your requirement you can change this now I will click on ok and self weight this is member dead loads beam column wall slab deck this all will be calculated automatically by the software so i will keep all the marked and history messages i will keep the same if you want to provide calculated slab self weight then you can unmark this and you can add with the dead load live load and other loads with, with the Self slab self weight normally I use slab automatically I use this option slab should be calculated by the software and I just only provide dead load live load on the floor or slab separately so I will keep same I will go to ok then what we will do we will go for click on modeler icon or model tab to start modeling so this is the model icon and here the this is the modeler icon and this is the model tab if i click on this then modeling window will open and if i click this also then it will open the modeling window here first we, I will click select the concrete because we are going to design concrete building then now select steel concrete steel choice CVM other model type from drop down list here it is the drop down list this I have selected now remember that RAM structural system follows the serial order in modeling then go, so go to layout and provide modeling data one by one so here is the layout first we will provide type then grid column beam and others as per our requirement we cannot jump from type to beam or slab type to grid then column serially we have to 
create our members so first we will go to type first we will create typical floor add select now what we will do first select type floor type typical or ground floor or any other thing you can type first we will create typical that's why i have written typical then if you check for type there will be option for copy and import from dxf if again i go for layout there will be some option in this typical floor you can provide other floor by provide the layout from copying copying by copying the layout from other floor you can import dxf file to this floor also we will create this floor uh, using this software so we will not go for that import importing option later on i will show how to import dxf file now next step what we will do then second select grid we will go to cancel we will go to grid create or edit create orthogonal there are two option options uh, one is orthogonal another is radial we, we will create orthogonal so we can write ortho then click add then select this one then go to edit grid x grid is perpendicular grid lines and y grid is horizontal grid line first we will provide a then add it is in 0 0 coordinate then we will provide b if the grid is facing is for example 16 feet this unit is in feet you can change it to inch also additional if the 16 feet grid is uh, twice or thrice three time four time similar then you can provide three or four time I'll, let's provide four add then it will add similar other grids also if there is no similar then keep it provide z here then spacing for example 20 add sorry this should be one grid coordinate here we provide 64 then we'll go to z g then add so this is it is coming 64 to 84 20 then grid a is sorry grid y we'll put one first put one then put two then we we'll provide for example 18 feet five five number of grid add now after finishing the grid data we will click click on ok and ok now in this typical floor we cannot see the grid to see the grid we will click on grid system here in the presentation i have shown also uh, here are written the details i have shown then after editing grids click ok the grid will not be shown until you select this option so in the next tutorial we will start from defining column beam now i i want to finish grids i will select this is flow layout and here grid system okay now we can see the grid grids we have created in the grid option so this is our first tutorial in the next tutorial we will go for creating column beam in this grids so stay tuned by subscribing my channel press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update